new custom painting DIY video. And DIY means you can do what I do and now you should listen carefully because I like to show you how you can achieve the most wanted coating combination on bikes during the last years. And that's flat black in combination with gloss black like shown on this fork I did some months ago. Check also some bikes I did during the last years in this combination. Also in combination with colors, flat and gloss. And that would be the ultimate guide how you can achieve this with spray cans on your own bike. I will guide you through all the steps needed, the primer, the colors, also the coating. And I like to give you three options how to achieve flat and gloss on your own bike. A simple solution, a more advanced solution, and also a semi-pro solution combined with colors. So if you want to paint your bike flat and gloss, that's the video for you. Stay tuned and let's start. The first step we have to talk about is the primer as you can see here and I prepared three steel tubes, two bare steel tubes and also one already painted steel tube and if you want to paint a steel bike or an aluminum bike that's also a video for you and the preparation and primer steps are the important ones for your steel or your aluminum project. And I like to show you also how to prepare an already existing paint job if you want to apply a new one. And it's a simple thing, the more you invest, the better will be the quality and that means if you buy cheap primers and cheap colors, the quality will be low and not so durable and if you buy high quality expensive primers and colors, the quality will be better and more durable. And in this case, I use a one component system from Montana, the metal primer, metal, <laughs> and also the uni primer for the already painted tube. These are one component systems, they are not bad, they are cheap affordable for everybody but if you want to go high quality and pro I recommend every time a two component system. These are more expensive such a can costs maybe 15 to 20 bucks and such a can maybe five dollar I'm not really sure. I'll link you all the stuff I use in the video description if you want to order it yourself. So yeah I decided to go with the one component stuff because that's a do-it-yourself video and it should be affordable for everybody so I will keep it as low as possible in the costs and that's the reason why I use the one component stuff. And I use two different primers as you, as you have seen. The metal primer is for bare metal if you want to protect it from any rust and to give it a protection surface, that's the right primer. If you have an already painted tube on aluminum or on steel, you can use the uni primer. Okay, check these two. The metal primer, also the uni primer. But before we can primer the tubes, we have to prepare them and it differs a little bit, the bare steel and the already painted steel. On the bare steel, we have to remove the milling, also the rust on the tubes. And here we have to prepare also the color, the surface. And to remove the milling and the rust, I will use 120 grit dry sanding paper. And for the painted tube, I will use as every time a wet sanding paper 800 grit, you can find it also in the video description, and a bucket of political correct water. And yeah, you have seen me doing this a lot of times. So I will start with this one. I've done it not so often and it's very simple. You need only a piece of this dry sanding paper and you can do it by hand. You can remove all the milling and the rust. And when you are done, you can start with the primer in the paint booth or in your garden or your garage or wherever you like to paint your bike. And it's very important that you remove all the rust and the milling because the color won't stick on the milling. You can see it here. And if you have rust underneath the primer, it will come back in a few years and that's what you don't want. And yeah, if you want to go the pro way and if you want to invest some money, you can bring your steel frame also to media blasting and you get a perfect prepared frame for the color. If you want to do it DIY, you have to sand and you have to invest time. That's it. And that's what I'm doing with these tubes. I will sand them down. And that's the first step in your painting project. Guess where the milling is gone? Yes, on my hands. I'm looking like a chimney sweeper, but don't wash the bare metal with water. It will rust immediately. What we have to do is we have to clean it with a cleaning solution and a degreasing solution to remove all the degrees from my fingers. But that's what I'm doing in the paint booth. So check this, that's bare steel. That's what we need. No rust, no milling. And now I can clean my hands when wet sanding the already painted tube. And 
I'm using a bucket of water and again the 800 grit wet sanding paper and it's simple and you have seen me doing this a lot of times. The only thing you have to do is you have to sand the color until it's flat, until you have a smooth and flat surface. Remove all the logo typing and the stickers if you have some. Don't paint over stickers, it won't work. So that's what you have to do is sand it until you have a flat surface. Very simple. And yeah, if you want to see me doing this on a complete bike frame, check the carbon preparation video. It's mainly the same sanding carbon frames and sanding color on carbon frames. You don't have to remove the complete color if there are no damages and no chips and no loose color. You can sand it down until you have a flat surface and that's enough for the new paint job. It is very important that you clean your frame before you apply any primer or color to remove the grease from your fingers or from the bearings and to remove also any dust. And I'm using alcohol to do that. You can use also thinner to clean bare aluminum or bare steel. Don't use thinner on already painted bikes. You can damage the color. And if you'll do so, you have to start from scratch. So I recommend to use alcohol to clean the bikes the frames or the parts you like to paint. And when you've done that, you can start to primer. And don't forget to mix your cans before you start painting. I will use the uni primer for the already painted tube and the metal primer for the metal tubes. You told me I'm your anchor. I told you you're my bone Through the wind and fire we try to hold on We build this ship together Searching for a home Despite the storm that hears We're still on board Dancing in the moonlight The world just stop and stares We got no destination I'll take you anywhere All the doors we've opened And all the books we've closed Words just come together Story that we need so if I say in for my own, you say just keep holding on. What I'm doing is wet on wet painting. That means I apply three layers of primer with a delay of 10 minutes in between. That means applying primer, waiting 10 minutes, another layer of primer, waiting 10 minutes, another layer of primer. I have to apply the last layer of the metal primer and then I will go straight ahead with the color, also with a delay of 10 minutes in between. That's what I've done so far. I've applied a metal primer on the raw steel tubes, also a color, the Montana Gold Chalk Black, 
and I've applied a multi primer on the already painted bar and also a color, the Montana Gold Shock White. These primers and colors cured for two hours and now I have to prepare these tubes for the next layers of coatings and what I will apply is a flat coating, also a high gloss coating and I will start with the simple solution and the more advanced solution on these two tubes but before I can apply the coatings I have to sand all these tubes with 800 grit wet sanding paper or if you are an anxious cat, I mean the word with P, I'm no longer allowed to use. You can use also 1200 grit wet sanding paper and it's every time the same. Put it in the bucket with water and rub these tubes until you have an absolutely even and smooth surface. That's a must have if you want to produce a combination of high gloss and matte finish. My tubes are sanded and absolutely even and now I'm ready to apply the clear coat. And I will use the Montana varnish on one tube, the gloss version, and on the other tube, the matte version. Let's go! That's what I've done so far. One tube's painted gloss, one matte, the clear coat cured for two hours. And before I can apply another layer of coat, <laughs> coat, coat, gloss on this one, matte on this one, I have to apply some color on the pro tube. This, <coughs> this one, it's very heavy. And I've chosen some color. Let's start with the color. I will use Montana Metallics, Black Metallic, also Caribbean. That's an absolutely nice color. Check this. That's my favorite color and also a neon color, the power orange, Montana gold power orange. These are the colors I will use and to apply them on the tube, I created a little sticker. I will use normal vinyl foil. I get asked very often, what's the vinyl foil? Find the link in the description if you want to buy exactly this one. Or you can use any sticker or vinyl foil you can find online. And what I have to do is I have to harvest all these letters. I have to stick the foil onto the tube and then I can apply color. So let's go. Woo! <laughs> if I take it down, would you really hold me down and be your best friend? She just wanna hear me with a quickie by the bull and I'm like, yes, man. When you got me feeling for your body, you might turn me to a yes, man. Oh, yeah. 80 and a 40, I'm a nervous bitch, I'm flying. Turn me to a yes man Before we do this girl 
girl, I got a question. If I take it down, would you really hold me down and be your best friend? She just wanna hit me with a quickie by the pool, and I'm like, yes, ma'am. When you got me feeling for your body, you might turn me to a yes, man. Oh, yeah. 80 and a 40 on the nerve, bitch, I'm flyer than your ex, man. Yeah, flyer than your ex, like, oh my god. I've mastered all the areas I don't like to paint, the numbers, also the Spitfire logo and what I have the color is the little stripe. So let's do it and let's apply power orange. Like, oh my God. And let's go on a day like, oh my God. When I'm back from LA like, oh my God, oh my God, yeah. She still think it's odd, yeah. I got all these fans, she's the only one I want, yeah. Press me with your mind, I might turn you to a mom, yeah. You might get a pension if you work it for me long, yeah. The orange stripe cured for 20 minutes. I had a nice slice of pizza and I masked it with some masking tape and guess what's next? Yes, Caribbean blue, so let's do it. Born in 1994, still a scrub. I still don't think you know this how to love, but I gotta know that if I take it down, would you really help me? Yeah, different colors, same game. I demasked the lettering, masked my stripes. I will apply metallic black, last color, let's go. She just wanna hit me with a quickie by the pool and I'm like, yes, man. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. The way you got me feeling for your body, you might turn me to a yes, man. I said, whoa, I'm on my own. We spoke on the phone. That's all she wrote. She said, leave me alone. So I'ma go. Spending all our time and we went for broke. But you could have made it last year. I won't put it past you. I said, ride away, but you sank the ship so fast, yeah. You weren't on my side because that would make you mad, yeah. I ain't got a lie, girl. I loved you more than past year. But thinking about it Six side trips down to see you by the coast. I would say I love looking better than for most. I used to show you a picture to my friends just to boast about your energy. Ooh, yeah, NF 4.0. Yeah. Uh, never thought I had to look again. Way too focused on your ex and them. Really think you need some better friends. I've been feeling different ever since. You won't ever find a better man. Loved you way more than you ever knew. Now I'm looking for a better you. Yeah, that's it, the nice design from the 60s, Spitfire design. And what I have to do now is I have to add clear coat. I will apply three layers of gloss clear coat, maybe with buffeting between, maybe not, I'm not really sure. That's what I do in the paint booth. And when I've done that, I like to show you the simple solution on the two black tubes with matte and gloss finishes in the same Spitfire design like this, but without colors. <laughs> I let it cure for 10 minutes and then I will apply the next layer, curing time 10 minutes and the third layer. Until my days, my days, they were done. Back from the paint booth or in your case your garden or your garage and now it's time for the matte, mud, matte and gloss combination bad and matte and what I like to show you is the most simple solution spraying direct on a matte clear coat and the more advanced solution with a better quality. Applying a sticker, doing some sanding and some preparation and spraying matte clear coat on a gloss one. And you have seen I've done different stickers, 
That's a sticker like you know it. Cut it letters and that's more than a stencil. I've removed all the lettering and I have a stencil like this. We use this for the simple solution and this one for the more advanced solution. But let's start with the simple one. And we, what we have to do is we have to apply these stickers or in this case the stencil. So be careful if you want to buy a stencil, all the letters have to be removed, not the shape around the letters, okay? And I use some tape to hold all these letters together and I like to apply them. So I don't have to apply every single letter, I can apply the complete sheet. I use some transparent tape like this, you can find it everywhere. And I will apply it over all the letters. Very simple. And also over my stripes. And now I can remove the complete back sheet and I can stick on all the stickers in one step. Yeah, that's it, very simple. And you have to fiddle a little bit around until the stickers fit perfect also on the back. And you don't need to be concerned about the air bubbles underneath the foil because that's only a mask and we will remove it in 10 to 15 minutes. So that's not a problem if there are any air bubbles underneath your foil. What I have to do also is I have to mask the top and the bottom with some masking tape. And when I've done that, I'm ready for the paint bows. That's exactly the moment where you're standing on the abyss and where you're looking down and if you're doing only one wrong step you will fall <laughs> and you will lose. And if you don't want to lose this custom painting game, listen to my advice and what we have to do is we have to apply one single layer of clear coat, not too thick, not too thin, even perfect. It needs some practice but if you want to succeed as well, just watch me painting this tube and that's what I'm doing now. Let's go ahead with the more advanced solution. It's mainly the same like the one in the paint booth but with little differences and of course with a better quality. And I like to try to explain you why the quality is better. The first point is I have applied three layers of gloss clear coat so it's much more shiny, much more glossy than the one in the paint booth, you can see it here. The next point is I will sand the surface before I will apply the matte clear coat so I can increase the bond in between these two layers, the gloss and the matte clear coat 
and when I increase the bond, I increase also the complete quality of the paint job. That will be much more durable and better in quality. And the last point is a matte clear coat is much thinner. The thickness of the clear coat is much thinner than a gloss one. So the gap in between these two layers is much thinner and it looks much more professional than the one behind me. And I think also a little, 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 <laughs> little bit cooler. That's what I want to say than the one in the paint booth. So let's go ahead. Let's apply these stickers like last time. I've applied also some transparent tape to bond all the stickers together so I can stick them in one step. And when I've applied the stickers, I have to use some wet sanding paper, in this case 1200 grit. And I have to sand the complete surface of the tube, in your case of your frame. And when we've done that, we can change to the paint booth last time. And we can apply, in this case, some matte clear coat. Left and right, moves like crazy. Everybody's trying to stand my lady. Spiders in the mirror and things can be right. Back to the scene of a Friday night. Two of us collisions are still frozen tight. Spill drink is keep it in the sound of her first child. And why did you argue? Dreaming of those eyes. The best part of my life. Yeah, that's it. So let's take a bucket of family-friendly warm water, same temperature you use to wash your kids. I recommend 60 degrees Celsius. <laughs> and then rub the tube until you have a flat surface. Same like last time, application of one single layer of matte clear coat. And here we have it, the first ready painted tube. The tube was the simple solution. And I'm absolutely curious if all went well after peel of all the stickers. And when I've done that, I can show you the result. And if the simple solution is the best solution. Yeah, that's the first one. Not so bad for a spray can paint job. Check this. I think the gap in between the colors is a bit too thick. For I feel it's a bit too thick. I won't do that if I would paint a bike. But for a simple solution and for a beginner solution, that looks very professional. What do you think? 
Hard cut, that's the second tube I painted with the matte clear coat. It cured half an hour in the paint booth and now it's time to remove all the stickers and to check which tube's better. Yeah, that's the second paint job, the more advanced one, and in my opinion it looks much better, more factory-like. The gap in between the colors is a minor gap, absolutely small and perfect. And these are the two versions, the simple version, the more advanced version. And now let's come to the supreme discipline and let's play the big boys game. I have to prepare this tube for the matte clear coat. I have to stick on also some stickers on all the colored areas. I have to sand the tube and when I've done that I can apply also matte clear coat and I'm done with three versions of a flat and gloss paint job. Pulling me closer Oh, I've got to stay away But you won't let me That's a basic practice for any custom painter and if you want to be a custom painter as well that is what you should do. Painting colors in combination with gloss and matte clear coats. I have to remove all the stickers then I like to show you all the three options of painting matte and gloss and yeah that's it. If you can do that you can paint your bike as well. If you ask yourself why I paint tubes that's what I recommend to you. Painting tubes before painting bikes. If you're able to paint tubes, you are also able to paint a complete bike. Imagine you mess up and you have to repaint a complete bike frame instead of a tube. And yeah, that's what I can tell you. And I will remove all these stickers and when I'm done, I will put these three tubes into the photo studio for some nice footage. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of my custom paintings and if you want to know more about custom painting, check also my other videos, my spray can videos, also my professional videos. And good luck painting your own bike, painting your own tube, painting matte and gloss. And see you in one of my next videos. Goodbye.